Hi everybody. Um, I'm going to just do a short video on how to hand wash your uh, competition suit. It's really important to wash it after a contest because the tanner and things on there can really kind of make it look a little dingy and the stones won't shine as good next time you wear it. Um, sorry for the bad lighting in here. I already am really, really pale and barely have any pigment in my skin and this bathroom light is just not helping. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the best way that I've found to wash my suit. I've had, I've tried different ways. I've tried different cleaners. I tried a dry clean bag cleaner that you put in the, in your own uh, dryer. That didn't work. I mean, it did, but it didn't seem to get the gin tan off. Um, made it smell pretty. And then I had mine dry cleaned also. You can do that, but they complain a lot about it. When you bring it in, they're like, oh, the crystals, and they freak out. So I'm just going to go through a step-by-step -step of what I use um, to wash my suit, and hopefully that'll help. I know you can find this online some other places, but um, if you're already watching my video blog, this will help you out if you're a new competitor and you want to clean your suit. Also, too, you'll know notice that after you compete, sometimes people want to rent your suit. Make sure you clean it before you give it to them, obviously, and have them clean it before they give it back to you. And this is a really good way. It keeps it sanitary and all those good things. And renting a suit, if you're gonna rent your suit, it's $150 for a national level suit and about $100 for a local uh, quality suit. So just so you know, or if you know somebody that has a suit, ask them if you can rent it. Um, it, it does save uh, some money. I might be renting my suit out um, here pretty soon. Uh, it just depends. It's a local show she's doing and the bottoms are kind of small. So you also want to check and make sure the bottoms are correct for the show you're doing before you rent a suit. But I'm going to show you how to clean it and get it all ready if you want to sell it, reuse it, or rent it out. Okay, so here's my suit pod. I got my suit in here. I already unzipped it so it was easier. I got the cups that I use in there. Um, I use a toothbrush to get in the stones especially and make them stay sparkly because if you don't clean it, I know it's just you wearing it if you're gonna wear it a second time. Sometimes the stones don't sparkle quite quite as good. I've got um, wool white here. So the wool white is what I like to use. I've tried some other cleaners, but this is really, really gentle and it makes it smell good, but not overly, uh, you know, not overly done. So I got that and I got my toothbrush and then I've got a towel here on the bathtub. So that way I can hang it and put a, uh, something down cause it's gonna, it's gonna drip. So just so you know that ahead of time. Um, also too, you're going to probably want to try and wash these two because as you notice these also get jantana so you can wash those as well also make sure to take your buttons off any buttons that you may have on there um because you don't really i keep all mine but you don't really need to wash those um and then make sure you untie anything around the neck too so you get in all the creases but do you see how dirty these get that's just doing one show um, I've noticed that the uh, sunless rays, it turns it a little more brown as the Jantana, this gets a little bit more orange. I'm gonna untie these really quick and then I'll get to the next. Part. Okay, so here's my dirty competition suit. Tanner everywhere. This you'll kind of notice the stones start to turn a little like bronzy on the back. That is not tanner. That actually is your skin's pH probably with the tanner. Um, kind of taking the silver off. Usually it doesn't happen on the front side, if you can tell, it still looks pretty good. But some of the stones around the outside get pretty dingy. The ones in the center seem to sparkle okay, but you really wanna make sure you clean that and clean these guys too before you wear it again. So like I said, wool light, I already put some in the water. Okay, a wool light toothbrush, that's all you need. So simple. I always put my suit in see how dirty that water is gonna get okay you can I, I usually what I do is I wash the bottoms and then I'll wash the top just so it's not too much overly done water then what I do is the scrunchy butt the elastic there always gets the dirtiest so you want to make sure you really scrub that if I can show you how to do that really quick here so you want to really scrub that with your toothbrush so you really scrub that with your toothbrush 
and then scrub every little tiny, 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 tiny stone to get all the stuff off of it. So that's what you're gonna do with the bottoms. And I even scrub the backside of these crystals. You don't really need to do that, but some of that orange you see will come off, but most of it is just the pH of your skin. So if you notice you still have some, that's what it is. All right, so I got my cool water on. And basically, I just take the bottoms. There's still gonna be a little bit of tanner left in them, but I got most of them out. See, like I said, um, some of these crystals still look like they have some tanner on them, but that's just because the skin, the skin, the pH and the skin. So I just make sure, they're pretty durable. You don't need to be too extraly fragile with them, but you see how clean that's gotten? No tanner left. It'll look a lot better once it dries too. So I do the same exact thing with the top. All right, so we're all done. I got it hanging over a towel with a bath mat below it, my claw foot bathtub here. Um, this was another thing I wanted to go over with you guys since I have my suit out. See this extra space here? I always leave a little extra, not because I'll probably get any bigger because it's that's my size when I get down to cut, but because if you ever want to sell it, Everybody has different size hips, so taking it in, you always can take it in, but you want to leave a little bit. There was more. When I first got my suit, it came to here, but we had to cut it because it was too bulky. But anyway, see, nice and clean. I mean, there's always going to be still a little bit of tanner on there. There always will be, but it's it looks, if you could see it in this video, everything looks kind of dark, but it's really white. And the inside of here, all white, almost looks brand new. The only reason is the tan, the nude shaper in there is wet so it looks like that but it's all nice and clean so it's ready for me to wear again if i need to or if i decide i want to sell it or rent it out it's good to go if you're ever buying a used suit you're always going to see this that's just the skin that has nothing that that's all worn off the silver is worn off and that happens usually after first wearing because this is the i've only worn these new extender things one time. So just so you're aware of that, that's nothing wrong with it. But if somebody tries to sell you a suit and it's like tan on the inside, tell them to wash it. <laughs> All right, well I hope that that helped and try and keep your suit as clean as you can and keep it nice, that way you won't have to buy them. And you can just keep wearing the same one, save money. Actually one of the head judges just said that it's more important to have a suit that fits and keep it rather than trying to buy a new one all the time and it might not be looking good. So when you find one that works, stick with it. She says you don't get marked down if you come in the same suit for years at a, at a competition. She said keep it a nice suit. If it works for you, keep wearing it. So probably gonna wear this one one more time, but I'm a girl, so I like to switch things up. So I probably down the road will get another one. This video went a little longer than I thought it would. There was more stuff to show you, um, but good luck on your competitions. And if you're selling suits, good luck selling your suits or just washing it to wear it again. All right, talk to you all later. Bye.